Capillary is a tube which has got a very small bore. The radius is very small and it is open at both ends. That is called capillary. We bring a capillary and dip it into the liquid. There was no liquid in the capillary. We simply dipped a capillary into the liquid. When we dip it, we find the difference in levels of liquid in the trough in the capillary. In case it is a glass capillary and the liquid is water, we find that the level of the water has risen up in the capillary. This phenomena with which the water level rise inside the capillary is known as capillarity. So what is capillarity? When a capillary is dipped into the liquid, then the liquid in the capillary rise up. This is capillarity. Okay. Now, this have gone up, we call that it is a ascent. How much is the ascent? Ascent is H. How it, this ascent H depends upon surface tension and the other quantities of capillary. Surface tension of the liquid and radius of the capillary and other quantities. So, we can always find out a formula for that it will be known as ascent formula. For that, please understand when if we see this surface of the liquid very minutely, we find that this surface is making a concave angle with the glass surface. From one, from the other, all round the capillary, all round the capillary, everywhere the liquid goes down, 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 like this. How does it appear? It appear like this. Liquid coming like this. From this is circumference of the tube, capillary tube, and this is surface of the liquid. Here is the liquid. This is surface like this. So, now, the angle between the liquid surface and the glass surface, that is this angle theta. Okay? <clears throat> the liquid is rising up the liquid is rising up because of the forces between molecules, what we call surface tension. So that is surface tension force. And what is the direction of surface tension? Tangential to the surface. So if this is surface, then this is the direction of surface tension. This is direction of surface tension. So here is the direction of surface tension. This is angle of contact. Okay. This is diameter and half is the radius of this capillary. Now here, what does its surface tension do? This is force applied towards the glass because it wets the glass. It trying to rise up the surface. Trying to rise up the surface this way. In which direction is the force? In this direction because surface tension is tangential. Now this force of surface tension which is trying to bring it here, we can resolve it into two components. One in this direction. This will be, if this is theta, theta. So this will be S cos theta and one is perpendicular to it. This is S sin theta. Here, this will be S sin theta and upward will be S this. This is S cos theta. So, S cos theta is acting at this point in vertical direction, at this point in vertical direction, at this point, this point, this point. So, all over the circumference, S cos theta is acting like this. This is a line and the force acting here is S cos theta surface tension. So what will be the total force? 
we know the formula for total force. This is S into L because F upon L was S. So F is equal to S multiplied by total length across which the surface tension force is acting. Here the total length of the capillary is 2 pi r and S cos theta is acting on it. So how much will be the total force? Force due to surface tension in upward direction is S into 2 pi r. This is the force acting upward. Now, this force is acting on what? This force is acting on liquid because these are liquid molecules. So, this force is upward forces on the liquid and this force is trying to lift the force, lift the liquid upward. This is responsible to lift the liquid. Why it does not go more up? Because there is a force of mg acting downward. This is the original level of the liquid and this column is made up here. How high is the column? H. So this column must be exerting certain force here. That force is mg which is acting downward. Mass. Mass is equal to volume multiplied by density of the liquid. Okay. We can write it rho. We can write it sigma. Anything. Okay. Let's write it sigma. Volume into sigma multiplied by g. Right. So, this is downward force. And this is volume. How can we find out volume of this total liquid that is base multiplied by height and how much is the base pi r square and height h this is the volume multiplied by density sigma into g this is the downward force now surface tension force is lifting it upward the downward force was smaller, so it was lifting, 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 lifting and with the rise of H, the downward force goes on increasing. One time come when the upward force of surface tension and downward force of Mg, they become equal. Because with the height, Mg is increasing, surface tension is not increasing, that is between water and the glass or between the two surfaces. So its value does not increase with the rise. It remains same. How much? This much. Downward force is this. It goes on increasing with height. A time comes when both forces become equal and it stays there. At that time we measure the height h and we can write the formula that pi r square h sigma g is equal to s. Oh, I should multiply this s cos theta because upward is s cos theta. So, I will write it s vertical and how much is vertical? s cos theta that is to be multiplied with this is s cos theta. This is to be multiplied with 2 pi r. s was in this direction and we are taking this direction. So, S cos theta multiplied by 2 pi r here. And this gives us value of H. See how much it will be? Pi is cancelled. Cos theta remain there, S remain there, sigma remain there, G remain there. 1 r is cancelled. 1 r. So, H height of the column is equal to 2s cos theta. 2s cos theta in the numerator. In the denominator we have r sigma g. r sigma g. This is the height that is ascent. So this is ascent formula. This shows 
how much will be the height of the liquid which is sucked inside the capillary though it is open there and this phenomena is not due to anything else but due to surface tension the pressure created the pressure difference created due to surface tension okay there are other methods to prove this formula and sometimes we prove it with the other method that this is a convex concave surface here the pressure is less no here the pressure is more here the pressure is less in case of equilibrium both pressure should be equal so this pressure plus h rho g is equal to atmospheric pressure and that gives us the same formula here so any method you can apply we have applied this formula so this is height now what we are supposed to understand is height depends upon which factor more is the surface tension more will be the height so who is responsible for surface tension responsible for ascent then theta that means there is a choice of liquid and solid for which this angle should be as small as possible in case of pure water and glass in case of <coughs> pure water and glass we have experiment and found that theta is equal to 0 degree How zero degree? This is glass, and this is the surface of water. So here, when they are in contact, they are almost parallel, and after that, they start like this. It is like this. I show you. It is this way. Yes, here. So just at the point of contact. the angle is zero and after that it goes on increasing so that is the case in pure water and glass and if that is the case then theta zero will make cos theta equal to 1 and that will give the maximum height okay but if it is in pure water some other surface this theta may be more or less and that will decide how much will be the height other very important thing is r and rho what is rho that is density of the liquid and it is very well understood if the liquid is lighter the height will be more okay but this is very important thing radius smaller the radius more will be the height smaller the radius the more will be height if we make the radius very very small in micrometers then what will happen the height will be in meters and it does happen in our nature you have seen the trees the trees are very tall 20 meter tall tree 10 meter 20 meter if a tree is 20 meter tall the last leaf at the top of the tree is green green means it has certain water contents from where that water has come that water has come from the root so how a water at the ground level inside the ground at the root level has gone up 20 meter where is the pump this is the phenomena there there is a capillary and that what you call a root that root is in this shape there is no puncture here it say continuously tube and the internal bore is very very small in micrometers millimeters micrometers so if here we have 10 to the power minus 6 h will increase by 10 to the power plus 6 so that is why the water can go from roots to the top of the leaf so this is where we learn the capillarity in the nature so the same thing we see in many other examples like this so anywhere we see there is a sucking like in chalk if you touch the chalk like this the liquid will go inside because there are capillarity so this capillarity we see in our day to day life whether it is in chalk 
whether it is in this and whether it is in marble. In the marble, there are opening inside the molecules and sometimes they make this type of opening that is capillary. This is closed, this is closed, this is closed. Only one path is open like this. That makes capillary. <clears throat> so, this is the phenomena of capillarity and rise. Now we see this angle is acute angle, so the force is upward. Suppose we take mercury and glass, which do not like each other and this is an obtuse angle. Then what will happen? This is obtuse angle. Then what will happen? We put a capillary inside mercury and what we find that the mercury level go in the opposite direction and it will dip inside it. This. The mercury will be here. This is the surface of the liquid, mercury otherwise, in the trough. In the trough, it is at this level and inside the capillary, it is at this level. See, here. This is in case of mercury, Hg, here. Okay, so this we can also explain how cos theta, theta will be obtuse and obtuse cos theta is negative. So H will be negative and negative H means going inside. That happens with mercury but in nature we hardly see many examples of this. In nature we see this example and this is where capillarity is used. So this is about the wonderful phenomena of capillarity. Thank you.